Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you the latest build of Windows 10 as part of the Fall Creators update. This update brings several interesting new features and several new bugs to watch out for. Quite a bit has changed since I've last detailed Windows Insider builds with 16.2.2.6. Lots of bug bashing and UI changes lead us up now to build 16.2.5.1. Windows 10 mobile users on the fast ring will also be receiving an update with build 15235. This update for mobile brings in response to, and I quote, very passionate feedback from Windows insiders about Continuum on Windows 10 mobile. Continuum users can now enable portrait mode on their external monitors, so that instead of looking like this, your Continuum desktop can look like this. Revolutionary. Speaking of phones, in build 16251 you'll find a new section in the Windows settings called Phone. While this section seems to be quite empty right now, it'll most likely be filled with all the continuous features Microsoft has planned for your Android and iOS devices. Windows Insiders with Android devices can be the first to test some of these features by downloading the Microsoft Apps app on their phone. I have the Microsoft Apps app on my Android device right here, um, really nice and pretty. You can see there's a section in the middle called For Windows Insiders. First of all though, I'm going to be going onto my PC into this phone section and clicking the Add Phone button. Of course, you'll need to put in your phone number to confirm this, so it will need to be your primary or device with a SIM card. Um, get this put in here there you go I'm too lazy to use my keys so a confirmation has just been sent to the device as you can see the device is now listed here on the managed phones section I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that text message to appear and I got a message saying uh, here is how you install the Microsoft okay so this is just a link to the App Store okay so I don't need to do that I have the phone added here so that is wonderful I can go into the Microsoft Apps app click the try it now button and you can see all the features they're demoing like start on your phone continue on your PC uh, share the mobile web browser continue so like sharing photos and web pages it seems like so sort of like how Cortana already hands handles it on your Windows 10 mobile device as what I can imagine uh, let's see if I open the menu can I find it no I don't understand how to use this yet but I'm sure you will figure out how to yourself okay I am stupid the option is right here in the share menu you can see that little arrow phone icon of course I don't know how I missed it and the option here continue on PC once you got that selected, you're going to want to click on, click on Continue Now and sign in with your Microsoft account. And once you've done that, you'll have all the devices signed in with that Microsoft account available here to share this page with. So if I click on my desktop, immediately the web page opens in Microsoft Edge on that desktop. That is incredibly cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try it here on another web page. Just again, the same thing. Go up into the Share menu and continue on this PC. And again, you see that web page immediately opens on my desktop, ready for me to use. This is an incredibly cool feature. I can't wait to see it move across other platforms, hopefully Windows 10 Mobile and iOS. Uh, no guarantee for that, but even more so if something like the Photos app would support this, sending photos immediately to your PC or a web page or any sort of session, that would be really neat. Aside from her voice capabilities, Cortana is also your shortcut for information on the web. This is made even more apparent with a new preview pane to the right of suggestions. This gives you a quick glance at relevant information found online. This will be great for looking things up without having to leave the app you're doing work on. Although if you do want to actually click on anything, this panel will open your web browser. We've seen a lot of improvements with input so far in the Fall Creators update, and it doesn't seem to be stopping. The touch keyboard's opening and closing animations have been fixed, you can see it scrolling in and out again, the sound of typing has been made quieter, and the one-handed keyboard is now a more comfortable size. Now, as with all these new features, there are also quite a few issues, so be aware of that. The Windows Insider program is not an expedited update route. It won't cause your device to explode, but you aren't guaranteed to run these builds without encountering some sort of undocumented bug. This has been a quick build update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out our website for more info. Thank you, goodbye.